it's Monday and every Monday we have a little market on our street. It's quite cold today and windy. Oh, Sherry, do you think it's cold? <laughs> oh, it's so sure. This week I'm organizing a little event for the girls, a photo brunch in a park. And right now I have to make an invitation and send it to the girls. My little helper is always here. <laughs> She's just watching to the window and feeling happy she's staying home. <laughs> those armchairs for probably a month and now I think I should put more stuffing inside because it doesn't feel very nice also can see that new holes are appearing and I was expecting the bugs be gone but no they're, li they're still living inside of the chair I usually do half of the way and then at some point, I finish them all in just in one moment. Well, that place doesn't seem very neat, but from far away, it's all right. Not that bad. A little problem is that from behind of those armchairs come in dust so but that it's not a very pleasant situation and I don't know what to do those armchairs were the very first thing I bought in Spain from the flea market they were 15 euros each and I had to repair them, of course. And my first project was is just painting all the wood in white chalk paint. I will add some pictures, probably. I changed the upholstery, it was another color. But then after two years of you, I didn't like the wood because it was a very thick layer of chalk paint. And I wanted the wood texture to be seen, so I had to remove all the chalk paint and and wax it adding a bit of white varnish well any project has a story and this project taught me a lot <laughs> actually it taught me a very old lesson to measure twice and to think ahead <laughs> For, for those armchairs, I bought a very last piece of fabric and I thought that it's more than enough, more than I need and I start cutting it like crazy, being very happy, cutting off pieces of fabric, upholstering the chairs, not thinking much and then I had not enough upholstery fabric for this seat and then I had to think more than twice what I'm gonna do. I went to the store, but the fabric was there and they told me it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be on sale anymore. And all they have are samples. And samples look like that. It's basically 60 per 60 centimeters pieces of textile. And those pieces are not enough for the seat. As you can see, it's just enough to make a little cushion or just a little cover for the seat. So I had to improvise. <laughs> so what I've done, I've bought a few samples. Well, actually, I bought all the samples of this color because I was too scared. 
I already made mistake. And I had to seam two pieces of fabric and now I have this beautiful feature on my armchair which will remind me forever that I have to think twice. You would never ever done this mistake. It's only mama who could do this. Yes, of course. Humans are so silly. And now when the armchair project is done, I have all the time on earth to think about a new project and what I'm going to do. A new project is waiting me right behind the corner, right here. <laughs> da -da -da -da. The new project is waiting me here. The new project is about to be started. And this little guy is been here for a week. I usually take my time to think about the furniture, about how it feels in my apartment, about the color, texture, the shape and the size. So this chair has a little problem. It has problem with the joint. And it probably will take me much more time than I thought. This furniture will be used a lot and it needs to be practical and very easy to clean. So I think I'm gonna go and find a nice piece of leather or probably it can be leather here. It can be leather here and fabric in here. I'm not sure if I will take off the old seal. I don't know, usually I do take it off, but I kind of like the color. But in a case, if I take it off, it will be very similar to the armchairs because they had just exactly the same kind of wood and seal. Just trying on some fabrics. It already gives me some ideas. Maybe this one. I've also decided to make a rabbit goulash, which is my grandmother's recipe. My addition to this recipe is mushrooms and cream. Make something cheerful and add a splash of color to this day. For extra flavor, I've decided to add some bacon. It smells so good! Oh, you, <laughs> you expecting to be lucky and have something to eat? No, you are not allowed to eat bacon. No, 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 no bacon for dogs. We will have your rabbit. Yes, you will. You have to be patient, okay? I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but well. It looks okay now, it looks quite delicious now, <laughs> but it's time to go to the oven. It doesn't look bad at all, I think it looks nice and very much edible. Yeah, here we have some cheese popped out. Well, quite proud of myself. <laughs> I must say my experiment was absolutely amazing because this little guy with blue cheese and quail egg turned out just absolutely delicious. So basically it's just pastry, bacon, spinach, um, egg whites, blue cheese and little quail egg.